He has been sent to dismantle my church and tear it up into little pieces. Friday, March 8, 2013 at 2.05 p.m. My dearly beloved daughter, Satan is in a rage against my church on earth and his infestation continues to spread within its walls. The cunning imposter, who has lain in waiting in the wings, patiently, will soon declare his reign over my poor unsuspecting sacred servants. The pain he will inflict is too hard for me to bear, and yet, his reign will culminate in the final purging of evil from within the core of my church. He has carefully manipulated his position and soon his pompous demeanor will be seen amidst his splendid court. His pride, arrogance and self-obsession will be carefully hidden from the world in the beginning. To the outside world, a sigh of relief will be heard as the trumpets peal out to announce his term as head of my church. My body is my church, but it will not be to me, Jesus Christ, he will pledge his loyalty, for he does not possess any love for me. His loyalty is to the beast and how he will laugh and sneer at my sacred servants who will support him. He who dares to sit in my temple, and who has been sent by the evil one, cannot speak the truth, for he does not come from me. He has been sent to dismantle my church and tear it up into little pieces before he will spit it out from his vile mouth. My body is my church. My church is still alive but only those who speak the truth and adhere to the holy word of God can be part of my church on earth. Now that the final insult is to be manifested against me, Jesus Christ, through the chair of Peter, you will finally understand the truth. The Book of Truth, foretold to Daniel, for the time of the end, will not be taken lightly by members of my church, for its content will sicken my beloved sacred servants when they realize that I speak the truth. The false prophet, he who poses as the leader of my church, is ready to wear the robes, which were not made for him. He will desecrate my holy Eucharist and will divide my church in half and then by half again. He will make efforts to dismiss those loyal followers of my beloved holy vicar Pope Benedict XVI, appointed by me. He will root out all those who are loyal to my teachings and throw them to the wolves. His actions won't become apparent immediately, but soon the signs will be seen as he sets out to seek the support of influential world leaders and those in high places. When the abomination takes root the changes will be sudden. Announcements by him to create a united Catholic Church by linking up with all faiths and other religions will come soon after. He will head up the new one world religion and will reign over pagan religions. He will embrace atheism by wavering the stigma he will say is attached in the pursuit of so-called human rights. All sins, in the eyes of God, will be deemed acceptable by this new inclusive church. Anyone who dares to challenge him will be sought out and punished. Those priests, bishops and cardinals who oppose him will be excommunicated and stripped of their titles. Others will be bullied and persecuted with many priests having to go into hiding. To those poor sacred servants of mine who recognize my voice now, please hear me as I reach out to you to bring you comfort. I would never ask you to reject my church on earth for it was I, your beloved Savior, who created it. I offered my body up as the living sacrifice to save you. You have been given the responsibility to testify on my behalf in order to save the souls of those whom you instruct and guide. All you can do is trust in me and continue to serve me. What you must not do is to accept any doctrine presented to you and which you will know, instantly, is not in accordance with my teachings. You must do what your heart tells you, but know this. This period is going to cause you deep pain and the raw grief you will experience when you see how my church will be desecrated will leave you weeping. But you must recognize the lies which are to be presented to you for what they are, an affront to my death on the cross. 
This destruction may result in the collapse of the structure of my church. The changes and adaptations of buildings along with the new temple created for the One World Church will be crafted and placed in Rome. Be assured that, just as my temple is desecrated, that I, Jesus Christ, the Savior of all mankind, will be discarded and thrown into the gutter. Your Jesus.